It's been over a year. If you don't remember me, I'm Paige. Um, or as you probably know me, Sawyer's Wacky Art business owner person. Person. Um, I've not vlogged in a while, and by that I mean a year. I figure now is as good a time as any because I'm on an ADHD reorganizing spree. Um, so this is my closet where I keep everything, and I haven't seen this yet. I'll do a room tour, yarn tour, whenever I feel like actually filming again. Um, but. This is my closet. As you can see, the top shelf's empty. <laughs> Cause it's all behind me. I, I, I just randomly started this. And it's like two in the afternoon. But I figured why not bring you along with me? Cause I don't know how long this is gonna take and I need an excuse to actually do this and content seems like the most, you know, useful excuse. Even though I never do that. But yeah, welcome. Um. What we got going on right now is giant box of fluff. Um, they need to go back up there. I need to reorganize all my boxes so that they all fit up top because they were everywhere in here. I have a bunch of yarn that needs to go away in bags on the floor, fabric that needs to go away. That one and that one are all completed projects along with, you know, the giant bee on top, but they're not fitting and it's like bending the Tupperware. So I got a new big bin to put them all in. And then I don't think I'm going to touch my yarn at all because it's actually like, it's okay. I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging because I have like a lot of brands mixed in. It's bothering me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I don't remember how to vlog. So let's start with something. <laughs> okay, I did a first thing. I don't really know how these transitions are working. Also, yes, the put music on. Um, I took care of the fluff box. It's up there now. Um, next, I am going to take out the completed project stuff and put it in the new one and then go from there. I'm also at the same time going to empty out. There's a clear bin here. I'm emptying that out, reorganizing that and putting all of my bubble mailers in the that box with the stuff that's already in there. I'll see you when that's done. Hello, so it's been about an hour. I kind of know what I said I was going to do, I kind of didn't. Um, all those projects that were in that bin originally, uh, I did move them. All the crochet ones are up here that I'm still selling. And then there were like some that I made a long time ago that I thought were good, but they're not. Um, so a few of them are on the floor. Um, and then the other half went to go be dog toys because my brother took them. Other than that, I had all my paint and stuff in a cardboard box. And I moved all of it into what, uh, oops, you can't see, hold on. Into the bin where all my crochet projects used to be because it all fits very nicely. In addition to that, I refolded and put the fabric under here. That's for tie blankets. I don't know what I'm doing next. I did not empty that bin that I said I was gonna do, like reorganize that bin. Um, I think I'm gonna take care of this corner because that's more fabric that I need to fold and put on top of my fabric bin. And I went through my yarn and everything that's very specific to one project. Like I have um, this yarn to make a fluffy bear for my mom. I put all of that kind of yarn into a box cause I'm reorganizing my yarn. Even though I said I'm not going to. Yeah, it looks like I did nothing. I kind of didn't, but you know, that's fine. Game plan. I'm going to take care of that, refold it, put it under there and actually go through that bin so that I can get to this, putting all of those into that bin with it. And then we're gonna do boxes. Okay, I'm gonna go work on that. Hey, um, it's been like another 45 minutes. I don't know actually quite a bit. Uh, I didn't do what I said I was gonna do. Again, I did part of it. Um, this bin now has my bubble mailers in it and I reorganized it. A lot of stuff in there I did not need. Um, I also redid this section. So like fluffy yarn for blankets that I have planned. Um, little balls, then miscellaneous. Is. I also moved all my crochet books down here, moved where most of this was and just restacked it. This is still not in order. Um, this is the paint stuff and then I have like a crochet kit in there that I want to do sometime. And then there's like crochet, like extras, like little bells and eyes and stuff. And then there's the felt. But the middle area is not decided yet. I'm going to put one of my yarn sections there because I'm redoing my yarn sections. My plan is to get all these up there. Um, it should work. They were all up there before, or most of them were. Hopefully I get this box up there too. Yeah, so that's it. Been doing this for two hours now. But yeah, next things we're doing are the boxes. And I think I'll check in with you after that. Because then all we have left is the yarn. Yeah.
okay hi hello okay so it's been about a half hour it's 4 30 now i finished the boxes up top um they just all fit and i managed to get the duct tape one to fit too like look how nice that looks but what i've also done is sorted my yarn into the categories that i want them to be kept in i don't know what i'm going to do because my idea was to separate them like the different sections with like a bar or something but i ended up using everything and i kind of like where everything else is but that's what we got for now and then after that we're done i think but yeah i'm gonna go organize my five yarn sections into like four spaces but yeah i'm gonna do that and i th think i'm gonna actually try to time lapse at this time i don't know if i'll be able to get you a good angle though we'll see let's go do it <laughs> I it. It's done. I completed it. It took me like three and a half hours. But I think it looks a lot better. It doesn't look like it kind of did at the beginning. Yeah. But I feel like I have a lot more space. Like that used to all be concealed in a box. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, little mini tour. On top we have boxes <laughs> and then completed crochet projects. And then here we have the big medium weight yarns that i use that was the divider and i put that on top because it kind of like goes in the middle um these are my little medium weight yarns um on top i actually ended up moving the duct tape bin back down for a good corner divider um on top of that we have you can't really see it but there's three balls of yarn that are like really massive and then i also have two balls of yarn that i actually need to re-roll next to that we have my karen carson yarn uh behind that and this section here is my miscellaneous yarns the bottom shelf we got Completed paint projects, eyes, beads, random stuff. Little, little, little tiny balls of yarn that, like, don't fit. Like, I would lose them if I didn't put them somewhere. And then, like, a lot of felt for no reason. And then these are my project yarns. Oh, and then here, this is packing stuff, so, like, bubble mailers. Um, there's my paper cutter in there, business cards, everything like that. Above that, we have everything for my patterns. And then just like accessories, more accessory stuff. Um, and sewing stuff is up there as well. And I have my books, obviously. And then we have my fluffy yarn. Underneath is literally, the, most of these are my mom's boxes. And then I have one for painting and one for fabric. That's it. I finished it. Um, I think it came out pretty good. Um, obviously there's some things that could be tweaked if I wanted to. But, you know, overall, it, it looks a lot better than it did before. But I like it. Um, it makes me feel a lot better because I have that counter space here that I can bring everything down on. But I'm very excited to use this, which I use it every single day. I literally come up here at least two times a day. I hope to become like a better vlogger soon and start doing more videos like this. Um, I would love to be like, if you don't know who my Mariah Elizabeth is, she's an amazing YouTuber. But she puts out a video every single Friday and she makes a different project every week. I would love to do that. I just can't because I'm a full-time high school student. But I would love to be doing more vlogs like this. And speaking of that, in three days, today's Saturday, there's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the golden day, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. I'm really excited, but that means that I'm out of school for a week <laughs> and I have a vlog planned. Um, will I actually do that? No idea. We'll see how I feel. But I'll be showing you like the days after because um, my father's gonna be home with me the entire time and I don't want him to think I'm crazy. So thank you for still supporting me. It's been over a year since I've posted. Thank you for watching. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Be sure to check out my Etsy shop. There's so much, there's so much, there's so much new stuff in there. And I'm redoing it right now. I'm in the process of redoing everything. And oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. Ah, uh, anyway, bye-bye. I'll see you next time.